to take a look at leveling the platform on the EPAX X1. Um, this printer comes from the factory uh, pre-leveled, pre-calibrated, ready to go. Uh, but there's a chance that you know it gets knocked off in shipping or something and isn't quite ready to go. Um, and also, you know, there, at some point, you're going to have to do this yourself anyway. So uh, it's, it's not a difficult thing to do. It's kind of funny that they use that kind of as one of their marketing points on the, the, the printer when they sell it. It's, you know, it comes ready to go. You don't even have to level it. Because leveling on this is actually easier than a lot of uh, similar printers. I find it easier than the Photon. It's a, I like the system that they use better. Um, first step in the, uh, the, the reason, first of all, the, the reason I'm doing this is uh, I just put a new LCD screen on. Now, that's probably not going to affect the level at all. I mean, everything should be the same down there. Everything, nothing's really changed up here. But since I've got it clean now, I got all the resin off. I've got it sitting here on the workbench. I'm going to just go ahead and re-level it. Uh, I mean, I might as well. I'd rather do that now than go back and and uh, have to clean everything off again if, it, if I get a failed print. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove my build platform. And like I said, I've got it good and clean. Uh, clean it down with isopropyl. Uh, a little sticky still on the top, so I'm wearing gloves just to handle it. Don't want to get the resin all over my fingers. We'll go ahead and loosen all four screws. Enough there that see we can move freely. And then I can go ahead and put it back on. Get the hand hand knob good and tight there. Go ahead and turn the printer on. We'll come down here to tools. And the first option here, menu, or excuse me, manual. And then push the home button. And let hold the uh, platform there. I'm gonna go ahead and put my piece of paper, and it's a regular scrap of paper, uh, between the LCU display in the platform. Come down lower. I'm always a little nervous when I'm doing this. The, uh, I feel like the things are just going to come crashing through there, smash my screen, but it shouldn't. I always have my hand here going also, so just in case. There is a stop button on front, but that's a lot faster. Alright, we're down on the plate there. What we want is we want it to have the same resistance kind of when you pull this piece of paper, you should get some little bit of resistance. You should be able to push it with some difficulty, pull it with some difficulty. When you go to push, it should just kind of start binding up a little bit, but you should still be able to get it to move. And you want it to feel that way across the entire plate. Now what you want to do then, again, you're going to take your, your hex key, and you hold down gently. You don't want to really push down real super hard on this. And you go ahead and tighten your four screws. This one's difficult to get to back there. There we go. go around to give, give them kind of one pass to get them snug. Maybe a little tight on this side. A bit. Probably. 
probably be close enough. But a couple seconds now to get it right. Not lose the fill print later. everything down. That needs to be good and tight but you don't need to go crazy on it. Put a breaker bar on there or anything. Alright, that should be good. I'm going to go back to our uh, touch screen here. Back so you can see it a little brush. Back. And then right here where it says set Z equals zero, we're we'll going to go ahead and do that. Confirm. And that is set as the new zero height. Go and raise that out of the way. Tight enough to be able to get our resin tank in there. Now we're ready to go ahead and put the tank back in and start printing again. So. <laughs> 